wake up in the morning, grab my trees and knock it to a young nigga I do my own thing, so let me do it If you wanna know one thing about me, I'm about my paper Fuck a bitch, soon as my iPhone ring, I'll see you later Hop up in the Chevy Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another video Today is Friday, November 6th And today we're gonna be taking a look at the most recent collab between Overkill and Adidas Consortium so this shoe dropped I believe last week in Germany at Overkill and it did have a worldwide release today. Um, I don't think a lot of boutiques got this, only the places that carry Adidas Consortium. The only place in Boston that received this shoe was Bodega. Um, not a lot of people waiting for the shoe, um, actually there was nobody uh, this morning except me and my buddy waiting for it, So, which was pretty good. I'm a little surprised because I really really like this model and the shoe. Um, so jumping right into it, you have this Adidas Consortium box. If you guys are familiar, it's an all-white or off-white box. The price on it was $130, and I picked up a size 11. The actual model is the Equipment Racing 93. This is the first um, Equipment Racing 93 that I own. I'm actually surprised by how light it is. Um, really comfortable model. So the, the paper that comes inside this box, as you can see, it's kind of like a taxi meter. Um, a lot of it is in German. Um, you know, you have the fare, you have overkill right over here and some other lettering there. Um, I believe this is free in German. I'll give you guys a closer look. You have kilometers and time. So if you guys don't already know or haven't figured it out, it is a taxi base theme. Um, I believe it's based on taxis back in the 90s or 80s, something like that. Um, I believe a lot of the taxis in Germany, or at least when I was there, they were all Mercedes C-Classes, if I'm not mistaken. So this is probably based on like an older C-Class model. Alright, so jumping right into the shoe. Um, like I said, it's the Equipment Racing 93 really really light um, if you guys ever held a Nike free run in your hand it's probably the same weight as a free run this is a very interesting model as you can see so the colorway is kind of like a vanilla color that's the best way that I can describe it um, the official colorway I believe is just as uh, light granite and yellow so yeah it's almost like a vanilla colorway the upper has a couple of different materials on here. This material is like a nylon, um, almost like a nylon mesh, but it's kind of striped as you can see. Going around the toe, you have a premium suede material, really great quality, um, feels really nice. Same thing going around the laces here and as well as the heel counter right here. On this one, you have overkill embossed on the back and on the other one, you have Adidas as you can see. So the thing that makes this shoe really interesting is these straps right here. Um, the you know if you guys have ever owned the Nike with the Flywire or the Dynamic Fit system, it's meant to be kind of like fingers wrapping around your foot when you tighten the laces. So it's the same idea here. Um, it's designed for a snug fit. This is kind of like a running shoe, and it really reminds me of a track spike. If any of you guys have ever seen or worn track spikes. The midsole on the shoe is very, very narrow in the middle, and this is kind of what um, you know running shoes look like in the 80s and 90s. They were just very narrow in the middle. So the midsole is actually fairly flexible, as you can see. Um, it has this little circle pattern, I guess, for traction. Not a lot of cushioning in the shoe, but like I said, it is very, very lightweight. Um, the inner liner of the shoe is a nice premium leather material and it is black. The insole, as you can see, you have over the Overkill logo on the inside and you have this little pull tab on the tongue here with the Adidas logo. Overall, I'm really, really happy with the quality, especially for the $130 price point. Uh, great shoe in my opinion. If you get a chance to pick it up, I highly recommend it. It is very, very comfortable. Um, the midsole, as you can see, it's a gray speckled midsole with the three stripes there. Yeah, not much else to the shoe, um, you know, just a quick pickup. Oh yeah, one thing that I did forget to mention, actually two things. So it comes with these um, different Dubrays here. On one it says Overkill, on the other one you have Adidas, as you can see. And the shoe actually comes with 
five different laces I believe I'll give you guys a look at those and you have gray white um, kind of like a black and white mixture here and a all black as well as the vanilla laces that are in here so yeah you have um, five different laces which is really nice really happy with this pickup all right um, before I end this video a couple of things I want to go over some of the um, upcoming releases the Soulbox Deodora dropped I believe on the 5th online and it's dropping tomorrow in Germany at both the Soul Box locations. Unfortunately, um, I wasn't able to grab the shoe because their site just crashed completely. I don't know anyone in the US that was actually able to get a pair. I'm pretty sure a lot of people in Europe were able to secure their pairs online, but as far as in the US, I don't know of anyone that was able to get it. Their site just kept crashing. Um, it took me about an hour just to get to the checkout and to the PayPal. Um, it kicked me back to the site and by the time I got back the shoes were all gone, they were sold out. So I was very, very disappointed. I really, really wanted that shoe so I guess I'm kind of left with the reseller route which as of right now it's looking like four or five hundred bucks so I'm going to have to probably wait it out and see if the prices drop but I do really want to pick that shoe up. Uh, tomorrow, uh, November 7th, you have Concepts releasing their Mix and Match Pack, um, their A6 Gel Light 5 Mix and Match. Four different colorways, purple, teal, blue, and kind of like a neon, neon red, some like orangish red, something like that. Um, they are officially opening up their New York location, I believe. The camp out is doing the list out there, I believe. He's out there right now, so if you guys are out in New York, um, go check him out. He'll be out there all night. Really great guy. Follow him on Instagram and um, subscribe to his channel, The Camp Out. Uh, next we have Sneaker Politics Courageous, the Jackson. So this is a second part to the Canon that they just put out. Uh, I saw pictures of it today. It looks really interesting. It's kind of like a gold, um, I saw a gold black color, you know, kind of similar to what, um, what Concepts did with the 25th anniversary. Uh, similar colorways, or at least that's what it looked like in the pictures. Um, I'm kind of excited to see what it's going to look like. I'm not a huge fan of the Courageous model, but if it's a good looking shoe, I might scoop that up. So after that, you have the Yeezy Boost. I believe it's supposed to drop on the 14th. So the interesting thing about this is um, some of the places that got the previous Yeezys might not be getting this one because from what I'm hearing, only places that carry the Yeezy Season 1 apparel will be getting the shoe, at least that's what I've been told. So that means a lot of the places that didn't carry the apparel that might have got the boosts last time around will not be getting them this time, at least that's what I was told. So we'll have to wait and see how that is, check with your local retailers, I'm sure it's going to be crazy, everyone will be doing a raffle. So if you're able to get a pair, kudos, um, you know, good for you. I'm definitely going to try to enter a few raffles if I can, but, you know, I'm not getting my hopes up for that. Um, after that, you have the Pusha T Adidas uh, EQT that's supposed to drop on Black Friday. Um, I saw pictures of it today. It's the it, it looks exactly the same as the white one, just in the black colorway. Um, once again, great looking shoe. I'm definitely going to try to pick those up if you guys are familiar with the white model that came out a while back. Um, you know, resale is crazy on those because the quality is just there. It's a great looking shoe. So hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on those. And finally, you have Packer putting out a Reebok. I believe it's the LX8500. Um, I'm not too familiar with that model, but I have seen some pictures. Um, the colorway or the official name of it is Autumn. It looks pretty interesting. A lot of different fall colors on it. Um, looks like you know, uh, looks like a decent shoe. So I'll wait to see you know closer to the release how that looks like. I'm a fan of what Packer does, so we'll see how that is. Alright guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.